protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Yesterday, the so-called religion of peace struck again. At least 36 people were killed and almost 150 people injured in what Turkish officials are calling yet another radical Muslim terrorist attack by ISIS. It was a triple suicide bombing and gun attack at the international airport in Istanbul. The three gunmen were armed with AK-47s. And you can see the footage right there where a police officer shot one of the attackers who then fell to the ground and then detonated a bomb blowing himself up. The terrorist arrived at the airport in a taxi and they were able to launch the attack without going through security checks. Again, ISIS has claimed responsibility and they say they have sleeper cells that are active right here, right now, inside the continental United States. And guess what? Intelligence reports agree. The threat is real. ISIS is here. Meanwhile, the Obama administration has allowed and says it will continue to allow tens of thousands of Muslim refugees into the country. And those who are not shipped in, well, they find little resistance crossing our borders. Donald Trump says the migrant situation we are facing now is extremely dangerous. He calls it a Trojan horse. And he says ISIS will likely infiltrate America disguised as a Muslim refugee. This could be the great Trojan horse of all time. Because you look at the migration, study it, look at it. Now they'll start infiltrating with women and children. And we are joined now by a political activist and former member of the original Black Panther Party, the Larry Pinkney joins us now. And Larry, I can't wait to get your, your take on all this. I mean, don't you think it's common sense that ISIS would infiltrate or disguise themselves as a Muslim refugee, take advantage of the, the refugee crisis? Or do you think the rumors are true and Donald Trump just hates Muslims? Well, let, let's, let's use what you just referred to, and that's common sense. The reality is, is that ISIL, Daesh, etc., they've already indicated that this is precisely what they're going to do. What do I mean? That they're going to use the uh, refugee slash immigrant uh, uh, motif to enter into both Europe and the United States, etc. So, I mean, where are people's minds to ISIL or Daesh, whatever you choose to call it, themselves? have made that clear. Also, if you look at the bombings that took place at the airport, and I'm not talking about yesterday, I'm talking about a few months ago in Brussels, Belgium, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, reports have already come out that uh, these folks who were involved, or at least some of them, uh, were working with other folks who said that they were, quote, refugees. Now, some of them were actually homegrown, whatever the hell that means, um, born and raised uh, in Belgium or France, all right? But we have to understand that it's not about racism. It's about common sense. And when people accuse other folks who are using common sense of racism, what does that tell you? It tells me that these folks have got their heads in the sand and their posterior sticking out. And guess what? ISIL Daesh will kick their posteriors as they stick out of the sand. But unfortunately, those of us who have been warning about this, we are also in danger too. And I'm certainly not anti uh, any religion, as long as that religion adheres to just plain common human decency. That's all. Well, and, and here's the deal. It, you know, we now know that the Obama administration is largely responsible for arming these terrorists to begin with. I mean, they created that Frankenstein. 
And most yeah. of the public, they don't understand that ISIS was created by Western intelligence to start proxy wars in the Middle East. Right now, they're, they're in Libya, which Libya, let's face it, it's a, it's a failed state right now. They have strongholds and control large portions of Iraq, and they are being used by the Obama administration to take out President Bashir al-Assad in Syria. So we're sending these guys weapons. I mean, you've seen the, the mysterious weapons drops that continue to somehow magically end up in the hands of, of Syrian militants in Syria and, and Iraq. Uh, we've seen the huge stockpile of weapons that are sent to them. They've got Toyota pickup trucks. They've got tanks. They've got Humvees. And uh, compliments in Benghazi, they now have surface-to-air missiles. So mm -hmm. it, it is it is a total miss uh, out there right now. And, and none dare call it conspiracy. Instead, they label it a conspiracy theory. But I like to say, I, I call it this. I say if President Ob Obama is arming terrorists while at the same time disarming the American uh, public, I call that treason. It is treason. And he knows it's treason. But you see, he thinks he can get away with it. That's his objective, to get away with it. He doesn't care that it's treason. So what? And by the way, since you mentioned uh, what you just said uh, just a couple minutes ago, uh, just Two or three weeks ago, or thereabouts, Obama's Secretary of State, current Secretary of State, John Kerry, was confronted when he was visiting, I believe it was Italy, and told in no uncertain terms what? That the U.S. had created, and the, I'm not talking about the American people, I'm talking about the U.S. government, which are two different things, that the U.S. government had in fact created ISIL, diet, ISIS, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Okay? This is not a conspiracy theory. I only wish it were. It is reality. And we better be prepared for it. Well, and, and by the way, I also want to point out that our ally in the Middle East, Turkey, and, and along with Saudi Arabia, you know, and, and Turkey was, was just attacked by ISIS yesterday, they played a major role in the creation of, of ISIS as well. And the Turkish prime minister himself was caught last November shipping guns to ISIS terrorists. So this, in my opinion, it's more than blowback, all right? This is the old familiar game that, that it, it was started by the CIA way back in the late 1940s. And you know, remember they, the, they took out Guatemala and then Iran, and then currently we're just talking about Syria, Libya, Iraq, and it's the game of divide and conquer. They destabilize right. the nation by wreaking havoc. They send in a bunch of bad guys to rape and pillage the nation. They send them arms. They create these massive protests, civil unrest, which usually ends up uh, at a, as a civil war. And then lo and behold, the United States walks in as the savior and establishes order out of chaos. And that's when they install their, their puppet dictators. They take control of the military. They rob the nation of its resources and they have another strategic placemat on the grand chessboard. And I'm here to tell you that they are doing the same thing in this country now. They're using the same techniques as divide and conquer, and there's nothing more that the Obama administration would rather see right now than a race war, am I right? Well, not only that, of course you're right, but not only that, it's if you can divide people, keep those people in a state of constant fear of each other, fear of one another, then you can control and manipulate those people. And that's what the drone man, you know, NDAA signing, uh, double talking Barack Obama and his minions, including Hillary Butcher Clinton, we, we saw he died. What a bloodthirsty piece of something that is. But in any event, that's what it's all about. And it's not just uh, in the so-called Middle East or in Africa, but if you look back, uh, you'll see that they did the same thing in the former uh, national state of Yugoslavia, formerly called Yugoslavia. Same thing. Create these so-called revolutions. They're really not revolutions. Where but is, as you so eloquently pointed out, Darren, it's about causing havoc, 
um, making sure that they can topple whatever uh, government is in power, especially if that government doesn't agree with uh, their policies, i.e. U.S. government policies, and then coming in as the so-called savior. In fact, they were the serpent, not the savior. They were the ones planting euphemistically the time bomb, and they're going off. So we in this country need to understand that they don't just do that in other countries. They're doing it right here, right here in the United States. Wake up. We must understand that. I'm sorry to get so animated, but people need to understand that that's what this game is about. Hillary Clinton, uh, Hillary the butcher, Hillary the liar, Hillary the murderer, Clinton, and, and, and Barack Obama and his minions are all part of the same game of subterfuge and control and manipulation. So on that, that's where I'm coming from. That's what I see. Same kind of thing, only it's more sophisticated now, Darren. Well, that's right. I mean, uh, Martin Luther King had a dream, and now we've got a nightmare. Hey, I've got a quote for you uh, from jazz legend Miles Davis. When you hit a wrong note, it's the next note that makes it good or bad. And we've had eight years of Bush followed by eight years of Obama. I'd say that qualifies as hitting the wrong note. So the next note, uh, you know, it better not be Hillary Clinton or this country is done. Larry Pinkney, you got the last word. You got absolutely right. Go ahead, Miles Davis. I'm a big fan <laughs> of, of Miles, as you probably know. That's why I absolutely. picked it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely correct. Absolutely. Let me just say to all of our listen, uh, viewers, listeners, brothers and sisters out there, please, please understand what the name of this game is. It's divide, control, and conquer. We must not let do that. Not in, in this country. In fact, not throughout Mother Earth. Thank you so much, Darren, my brother, and and my love and strength. To all my brothers and sisters at InfoWars. All right, Larry, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you again real soon. And I just want to remind our audience that Larry Pinkney speaks from experience. I mean, the guy knows what he's talking about. We have the original, we have the FBI file that they have on Larry Pinkney. We got it through the Freedom of Information Act. This is the official file on Larry Pinkney, and it says Pinkney is potentially dangerous due to his demonstrated ability to unify black and white. His associates are Negro, white, and Chinese. Special attention is given to neutralizing him, and they did just that. Compliments of COINTELPRO. So, this is a, a this fight is real, ladies and gentlemen. They want to divide and conquer and anybody who is out there unifying us is a direct threat to the globalists. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high, and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.